What's up, everybody? My name is Sam Dart. If you guys are new, guess what I'm about to react to? Ten cartoon houses you won't believe that exist in real life. If you guys are brand new here, make sure you subscribe, comment down below, and leave a friendly comment down below. And make sure you leave a thumbs up and make sure you turn that post notification bell on here. So, my name is Sam Dart. If you guys are brand new here, I'm about to be reacting to these awesome videos about these cool houses. My favorite car cartoon is Spongebob and the other other ones. That's really cool. So, let's get this video on up. Let's go. But I'd love to live in a pineapple under the sea. Spongebob, Either that Square or a Flintstones Bates. house. That would be good. Cool. <laughs> Believe it or not, though, I'm not the first person to want this. And in the fact, there are that? a number of people who have made the their Simpsons. childhood dreams come true by actually creating oh, real-life homes based on their favorite that cartoon sucks. character, Abodes. Here, we'll take a look at the top 10 real houses inspired by cartoons. Amazing! <laughs> Number 10. The Simpsons House. The home of Marge, Lisa, Homer, Bart, and Maggie at 742 Evergreen Terrace is iconic. Back in 1997, the house was created for real by Fox, wow. Pepsi-Cola, and Kaufman as a giveaway prize costing nearly $120,000. The replica is a 2,200 square foot, four bedroom home Hi, in Henderson, Nevada. The architects purportedly watched over a hundred episodes of The Simpsons to gather enough info on the layout and design of the house, as well as all of the artifacts inside of it. Sounds like a wow. fun job to me. The detailing was pretty impressive, as 1,500 Simpsons-themed props were stuffed inside the house, and it even included a replica of Bart's treehouse and Whoa. a backyard barbecue. After 15 I million entries, it. it was ultimately won by a retired factory worker from Kentucky who, rather than take the house, instead chose a $75,000 payout. Guess they weren't much of a Simpsons fan. The house was, was. then remodeled, yeah, yeah. and all the Simpsons-themed stuff was removed, and eventually the house was sold in 2001. <sighs> Number 9. The Jetsons Apartment. This one is particularly intriguing, because in an odd twist of time, the Jetsons' futuristic apartment was actually inspired by architecture from the early 60s. This architecture itself was trying to mimic what people thought houses would look like in the future. In particular, the Jetsons apartment complex was inspired by Los Angeles' famous Chemosphere, a home that looks like a UFO with <laughs> central heating. Perched on a 30-foot high pole with a giant concrete pedestal, despite wow, what you may think, so awesome. the home is actually well suited to survive earthquakes, torrential storms, and just possibly an alien invasion. Wow. The Chemosphere also inspired another cartoon home, even more directly, that of actor Troy McClure of The Simpsons. Number 8. Minnie Mouse House. The okay. longtime girlfriend of Mickey Mouse is quite the homemaker. This adorable Minnie Mouse house can be found in two locations, at Mickey's Toontown in Disneyland, Florida, or at Mickey's Toontown in California. The cute pink and lavender Aww. exterior might be misleading, but it's Aww, fully equipped on the inside. Cute. While you're there, you can check the answering <laughs> machine, where you'll likely listen to messages from the squad, That's that is, Goofy and Mickey. There will also be popcorn popping in the microwave and a cake baking in the oven. Number seven, Up House. The Up no, House is the movie. cute little colourful house that mm. Carl and Ellie spent their lives living together in. While the movie was a hit, so was the house, as it was eventually built in 2011 as part Aww. of a little girl's Make-A-Wish Foundation wish. Built by Van Goethe Builders in Utah, this 1950s-style home was painstakingly designed. It accounted for every detail, from the weather vane at the top of the house to the mailbox, all the way to the light switches and the floorboards. It cost almost $400,000 to build and even includes a basement, but not the balloons. Except on weekends. Apparently, the builder sometimes puts up a few for fun. Private buyers purchased the house in 2012 and have actually decided to keep much of the decor the same as when the construction was completed. Number wow. six, The Hobbit House. Homes are becoming extremely pricey these days, so one uh -huh. man who was fed up with the high prices in the yeah. countryside decided to build his own eco-friendly Hobbit House. This amazing Hobbit House was built by Simon Dale, a freelance photographer who, 
in spite of not being an architect or even a construction worker, managed to build this together with his father-in-law and help of neighbours. With little more than a hammer, a chisel and a chainsaw, it took them just four months to have it finished and oh, cost wow. around £3,000. It was yeah. designed to be ecologically sustainable and uses a wood-burning oh, stove cool. for heat and solar panels to collect electricity. There's even a nearby spring to collect water and a compositing toilet. Simon says that anyone can achieve this type of building, which will amaze most people for Shire, especially those who appreciate the huts in J.R.R. Tolkien's books, including The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. They're not strictly cartoons, but this was just too cool not to include. Number five, Hello Kitty House. <sighs> This cute pink painted Aww. house was 100% inspired by the most famous cat in history. All right, the second most famous cat. This Hello <laughs> Kitty villa is located in Taipei, Taiwan. But wow. the widespread obsession for Hello Kitty is more than you can imagine. Because this isn't the only replica in the world. There are other versions like this private residence in wow. China that was built back in the 1990s by a man who had a few daughters who were obsessed with Hello Kitty. But that's not the only one in China either. This other version, this time in Shanghai, oh, wow. can actually be rented. You can live in it as long as you want, but it's very expensive at about two and a half thousand Chinese yuan a day on average, which equals about 400 American dollars a day. The only kitty the owner of this house is saying hello to is the one at his bank. Number four. SpongeBob SquarePants My House. Favorite. True, it's neither an actual pineapple nor on the ocean's floor. Mostly because that would just drown the homeowner. But this giant structure in Australia oh. is just one of many famous big things that seem to cover the country of Australia, like so many discarded Vegemite jars. Other large objects uh. include the big bunch of bananas, <laughs> the big oyster, the big boxing crocodile, <laughs> the big Ugg boots, and the big mango which, at oh, 33 no. feet high, was actually stolen. However, this pineapple structure itself is more of a sculpture and less of a habitable pad. If that saddens you, then you'll be glad to realise that there still is a real, habitable version out there. Look no further than this real-life pineapple hotel located in the Dominican Republic. This villa in particular was created by Nickelodeon <laughs> and Nick Resort, Punta Cana. The interior furnishings are amazingly similar to those oh, in the really? show, That's but so cool. don't get too excited. It's not exactly cheap to stay here. Only true SpongeBob lovers that can spare around $3,800 per night Whoa. will be able to enjoy this 1,500 square foot of pure SpongeBob living that would definitely make Squid. This Geico ad is intended only for people who grew up in the 80s. Renting VHS tapes is dope. So sad. Were jealous. Number three, Barbie House. Many little girls dream of living out their girlish oh, fantasies man. in a vivid pink beach house, much like Barbie's Malibu residence. Well, now they can, at least for a day or so on their birthday, due to the so called Barbie so cool, the though. Dream House experience, which is a 10,000 <laughs> square foot pink plastic paradise in Sunrise, Florida. It's a life size replica of Barbie's Malibu Beach House and was oh, a joint really? venture between Barbie's manufacturer, Mattel, and TMS Entertainment. According to its real estate agent, the Dream House took less than a year to build and took more than 100 gallons of pink paint and oh, 20 okay. pounds of glitter. The installation Whoa. includes the best of Barbie, 350 dolls and collector memorabilia, Barbie's friends, family, and of course, the very man she's been stalking for years, Ken. As part of the girlish adventure, parents can book the venue for birthday parties and pay their children to strut down the fashion runway. Of course, only after model training, makeup, hairstyling, and the chance to choose an outfit. If you actually want to live in a similar house, then the closest you'll get is this modern Barbie house created by interior decorator Jonathan Adler on the eve of Barbie's 50th birthday. Oh, he decked wow. out a 3,500 square foot pad in March 2009 and it overlooks the Pacific Ocean to look like the famous doll's home located in Malibu, California. Number two, Snow White Cottage. Just outside Seattle resides a stunning Snow White themed cottage 
Apparently, the first part of this home was built in the early 1970s and the owners continued working on it because they were prompted to construct a home more in tune with the natural world, as opposed to a common style of home. This 2,800 square foot, four bedroom storybook home has hand built doors that have ornate hinges and latches, carved wooden beams and walls that evoke a magical cave. It's fit for a Disney princess, like Snow White, or maybe Seven Dwarfs, too. <laughs> and last year, it was listed for sale at a cool 925,000 US dollars. Number one, Flintstones House. In 1976, so awesome. architect William Nicholson designed this series of reddish bubbles in Hillsborough, California, as a sort of experiment of new building materials. The dome-shaped house, named after the famous cartoon because it resembles the Stone Age home Fred and Wilma lived in, is made of wire mesh that was inflated by balloons and shot with shotcrete. Originally off-white oh, in colour, wow. it was repainted a deep orange in the early 2000s. The interior is all white, keeping the home cool in the California summers, oh, and it features so cool. three stunning bedrooms and two bathrooms. If the $4 million sale price is a little too steep, and you only want to live like a caveman for a day or so, then try this cave hotel, which nestles into the rocks of South Africa's Cedarburg Mountains. Rooms are actually set in 10 different mini caves with spectacular mountain views, and if that's not enough, there is this outcrop open air room where guests can sleep under the stars, enjoying the celestial show thanks to a lack of light pollution and surrounding civilization. There's actually a few more that could get away with being called a Flintstones house. And if you're interested, click this video here for two other amazing houses of similar design. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe, as well as clicking that bell button to stay notified. It will keep you up to date with our future videos. Thanks for watching. So, if you guys like this video, I just switched to Geico bro. and got more. More. Oh. So, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, and leave your friend comment down below. Thank you guys for watching this awesome video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.